Hi there, this is Mayuri Khivansara Khabia. I'm a developer relations engineer on the Android team at Google. Thank you for joining in. We'll talk about Watch Next API on Android TV and Google TV. We'll learn how to increase your TV app engagement and some best practices in order to do so. You switch on your TV and there you see the home screen or the launcher. What are some ways your user is interacting with your TV app? It can be via the apps list, the Play Store, the Google Assistant, etc. But how does your user interact directly with your content from the home screen? One important way is through the Watch Next row. The Watch Next row enjoys top of the line placement on the home screen. As app developers, that is you, can add relevant content on the Watch Next row. This can be the content you want to recommend your users to either continue watching or suggest a new or a next episode. We do have an introductory video on creating engagement with WatchNext released at Android Dev Summit, talking about this feature, user experience, guidelines, success stories, etc. You might want to check that out as well. The link is in the description below. So how does the WatchNext row appear on your home screen? The naming and appearance is slightly different in Google TV and Android TV but the API implementation is the same. So as app developers, there is no extra effort required from your side. Let's zoom in and see what all does the watch next card have. All this metadata gives useful information with direct call to actions to your user. In the later part of this video, we'll see how to add a card and all the necessary metadata. Now let's see what types of watch next cards you can add. There are four different types of watch next cards that you can add depending on the user journey and which call to actions it displays. To quickly summarize, type continue is for unfinished content. Next is for next episode. New is for a new season. And type watch list is for bookmarking content which you might want to watch later on. All these types and use cases are covered in detail in our introductory talk. Do check that out. We know what the feature is and we know what the user experience is. Now let's dive deeper into how exactly do we achieve this. The WatchNext entries are populated from a system content provider and the WatchNext program is a convenience class you can use to insert or retrieve program entries. If you're comfortable directly using content providers, we recommend using batch operations over singular operations. To make things simpler and reduce developer effort, we also have a helper class the preview channel helper, which will manage everything automatically for you. Let's dive deep and let's see how we create a card. The WatchNext API uses a builder design pattern, simple and straightforward. Just add all the relevant metadata to the builder, for example, playback time, title, duration, the WatchNext type, etc. The more rich metadata you add, the richer your user experience will be. Once the builder is populated with all the metadata, for inserting a card in the WatchNext channel, just use the publish function of the API. Two most significant operations are the update and the delete. They use similar APIs and have been covered in detail in our Android Dev Summit talk. So do check that out as well. Now that we know the basics, let's dive deeper into some best practices. Let's quickly recap what the watch next row looks like on the TV. It shows a series of cards, some rich metadata and direct call to actions on each card. Zooming in, this is what a single card entry looks like. There is a lot of metadata that you can add in order to better engage with your user. Let's see how we achieve all of this through code. In order to set up a progress bar, you just need to add two things the last watch position and the total duration. We'll populate the card with a progress bar to hint your users that they can continue watching exactly where they left off. This is only needed in the watch next type continue and not in the type next or new. Imagine if your user can directly play your recommended content from the home screen without explicitly opening your app. You should set the right intent URI so that your app can start playback directly when the user clicks on the card. 
You could also use this link to track analytics for a user journey coming via the watch next row. Since TV is such a large screen located at a distance, the image is one of the first things your users observe. If you set the right image thumbnail URI, it will show that as a background to the card to give a visual cue to the user. For episodes, we recommend adding an image URL of that specific episode as compared to the general series or season image. You could also add the thumbnail at the exact timestamp of the video for a richer user experience. In order for you to query the content in the watch next row and which can also match with your media feed, use the internal provider ID as a unique identifier between your app and the watch next row. We have often seen apps add all content in one go on the watch next row. Use the last engagement time to truly reflect when the user was actually watching. You could also use this to suggest any next episodes being available on a future date. Imagine a situation where you start watching something but go back because you don't like it. Google TV has some threshold recommendations to understand if the user has actually started watching the video. And only in that case, we recommend you to add it to the watch next row. The two conditions we look forward are at least 3% of the video or at least two minutes of the video has been watched. And then you can say, yes, the user is interested in this. So add it to the watch next row after that. Similarly, we also recommend you to detect a video end based on whether your end credits have begun or approximation based on your content length. You can suggest the next episode or a new season if your video has been ended. Don't forget to remove the existing content which the user finished watching before you add a new one. Additionally, we've also covered guidelines, edge cases and success stories how top apps drive their app engagement via the watch next row in our Android Dev Summit talk. So do check that out as well. To continue learning more, here are some additional resources. The developer documentation is a great starting guide. If you want to see code directly for all the use cases and the guidelines, you could check our code lab specifically made for episodes and movies as well. We also have an introductory video on the Watchnex API with the guidelines, edge cases, success stories, etc. Do check that out as well. We also have a reference app sample if you just want to play around with code directly. That's all. Thank you for joining in and keep continuing to engage your user with the watch next row.